to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to do a book tag called The Quarter Crisis Book Tag. I think that's the name of the book tag. Um, um, now, when I'm recording it, it's May. So, I'll talk about the books I've read so far from January to April. Let's do this. Oh, and I will tell you that I saw this book tag at Michelle's library and I will link her video in the description. Um, so yeah, now let's start with the first question. How many books have you read so far this year? Um, let's see. Um, let's go to my Goodreads. <clears throat> so far I've read 16 books. Um, yeah, I've read 16 books so far. Which, I'm sorry about the neighbors. Um, uh, have you already found a book you think you might that you think might be a 2022 favorite? If not, what was your favorite book you have read that is not quite a five star? Let's see. Um, uh, I would say um, I've re reread some books this year. Um, also, mm -hmm. yeah, let, let's see, I have, read, I have some five stars actually that I have read. Um, I would say the first book that I see is I survived a true story. Um, I will put in a picture on, on that book. I listened to the book. Um, the latest book that I've listened to, that I gave five star to, is Captive A Mother's Crusade to Save Her Daughter from the Terrifying Cult Mixium. I'll put in a picture here of the book. So that's that's some books that I actually think will be five star. I do love true crime, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Next question: <coughs> Any one star book books least favorite books so far? No, I wouldn't say I have like read any book that I feel like was a really um, one star prediction. Like I I know I read um Red White and Royal Blue, for example, later uh, earlier this year. Um I gave that book three stars. Uh, for me it wasn't a five star book. Um yeah. But no, I don't think I have like a book one star so far this year. So no. Uh, what's it? What is a book? No. What is your most read genre so far? When I looked at my Goodreads, I saw that it's mostly thrillers actually. So yeah, thrillers. And then we have like two books that are true crime, um, some feel good, but mostly thrillers. Um, what, what is a book that surprised you? I would say, um, I don't know if I have um, no, I don't think I have a book that I've read so far that I feel like really surprised me. Um, so, no, I don't have one. 
what is your what is a 22 release already that is already out that you want to read but haven't have it yet um, when I looked at my bookshelf at home here I realized I don't own any 22 book releases actually and uh, so I looked at my Goodreads to see what books I do when I read <coughs> and and um, a book that I actually found that I do want to read that came out in 2020 this year is A Flicker in the Dark I'll put in a picture here that is a book that actually recently came over I saw a friend listen to it as an audiobook and I read about the book and I was like this book is a book that I want to read so uh, I put it on my audiobook app so I, so I probably will listen to it hopefully soon but yeah that is a book that I do want to read or listen to um, One goal you had made that go you made that you are succeeding at. Um, um, so far in my good reach challenge, I I only like one book behind, and I've been pretty good at being like on track with the good reads challenge so I don't see a problem with um, not being too far behind on it so I see myself being su succeeding in that though next question one goal you need to focus a bit more on um, I have made a video like late last year I think I don't know if it's Swedish or in English but I made a video where I'm talking about the books that I want to read this year um, and also I actually made a goal for myself to read books that are on my bookshelf because I have too many books on my bookshelf at the moment that are un unread and I need to focus on them so let's say that I let's just say that I should read more books from my own bookshelf um, yeah and also I've read two books of the six books that I do want to read this year and uh, I hope to I hope to be able to complete that uh, goal in, in the end of 2002 um, <clears throat> because it's not really hard and I really should focus on reading books from my own bookshelf because well let's just say I have too many so yeah next question any new to you booktuber bookstagrammer book talker you have found in 22 and would recommend um, um i would recommend michelle's library and uh, um, the one that i saw this book tag at uh, <coughs> um, i haven't really found any new booktuber or bookstagrammer uh so far this year um but michelle i really like her channel she's talking she's when i look at her vlogs for example um when i see her read i feel motivated to actually pick up a book myself because yeah uh, and actually read myself so but also, I really like her channel. She, she has 
great content and I recommend her channel and like I said I will put on put her channel in the description so yeah um next question <coughs> tag some people I'm not going to tag someone uh, I feel like if you want to do this tag it then you should absolutely do it but I don't I'm not going to tag anyone um, but yeah um, if you want to do this tag then do this tag feel free feel free to do this tag so that was all the questions in this book tag it's not going to be a very long video but um yeah so this is all the questions in this book tag. I, I will put on put all the questions in the description as well and uh, let me know have you read any book that you feel will be a five star prediction five star already or have you read very bad books so far do you have any goals for this year when it comes to reading let me know in the comments i uh, would like to know um, and don't forget to subscribe like and comment uh, and then i'll see you in my next video